everybody, this is Julie with ReadySitStamp.com and today we are making a, I'm going to call it a box because I assume that it was a box card when I uh, got it off the silhouette. However, it doesn't fold down now that I've been playing around with it. So I'm just going to call this a box, even though it has all the same looks to it like it would be a box card. So this is just one of those that you'd have to hand in person or if you want to put it in a box to send it off to somebody, you could. It's more along the lines of kind of like an explosion box. So anyway, just keep that in mind. So um, the stamp set that I'm using here is so adorable. So I'm using this from Cards TV and it says, you are in my thoughts and prayers. And I think this one is called Thankful no, I'm going to have to find out what the name of this was and I'll put it on the screen because I really don't know the name of it, honestly. Okay, so let's get started in assembling this box. I'm using some of my Scotch adhesive. So this is going to go together, like I said, more along the lines of an explosion box than a regular box. So I'm just going to glue this right here and put this here. You kind of have to hold it in place a little. I'm just going to kind of press down on here. This glue does dry pretty quickly, but you do have to hold it in place for a little bit for it to adhere a bit. Now I'm going to move on to this side. Same thing here. I'm probably not going to show you all the sides because that is a little repetitive, but basically I'm going to glue all four sides here. So I'm just going to show you one more side and then I'm not going to show you the other two sides because it's exact same thing until you make a complete box. Okay, so I have all four sides glued, and this one says, You are in my thoughts and prayers. So this is going to be the front of my box. And so in the very, very front is this little piece of grass, but I did some fun colors rather than just like regular green grass. I did some pretty fun patterns, and I got this from Alphabet Soup Boy, and this is from the Michaels Collection. And um, all of the papers, I got this paper pad for a total of $5. So it was a really, really good deal. And I love it because it's just really fun, bright colors. And it's just really cheerful, which I love. Okay, so in the very, very back goes this one here. And that's the one with the two flowers. And so what I did was just um, added this on here. And then I added these up with mounting foam and then... These were cut out of the same paper that I cut my grass. So I just considered all my grass is going to be, or the green leaves, will be in this pattern. So I just kind of kept it so it would be the same. So I'm just going to fold these down a bit, add some glue into here, and then I'm going to put this into the very back of this and glue this in place. So let's see. Whoops. Okay, so now I'm going to put this in slide this into the very very back right up against the back wall here and then I'm gonna press this into here so that's what the back part will look like which is really cute and then I'm gonna work on the front part just so that I make sure I'm gonna space this correctly and you know what I just realized I glued this on the side here and it's supposed to go on the back here uh, okay you know what would be easier <laughs> it would be easier I think if I moved this. I'm thinking it would be easier if I tried to move these. Or I might even glue another piece right over the top of it. I think I'm going to glue a piece right over the top of it. I think that would be the easiest thing to do. Because I really messed that up and I didn't <laughs> pay attention to that. Shoot. And I have my grass over here. Oh my goodness, I really made a mess of this box. Ugh. That's such a bummer. All right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut a piece and finish it off in there so that looks nice. But I'm going to go ahead and move over and just add glue to this. And I'm just going to pretend like this is the front of it and just try to carry on and make this work on this side since I messed that up. The quickest fix, I think, is going to be to just cut another one of these strips in the same color paper and put it right over the top and add my stamp here. And um, I'm just going to fix it up so you'll never know the difference here. Like I said, I'll, I'll cut a piece of um, cardstock paper and just line that in there so you will not ever see that. So anyway, maybe that's a good lesson on how to fix your boo-boos. So I'm just going to try to, I see a little extra piece of glue popping out of here. So I'm just trying to push that with my finger to soak up the extra glue. So this is the middle, this is the front part. So I'm gonna try to bend that down here. 
add some glue to this. And we'll put this in the front. There we go. Okay, and now this is going to go in the very front, keeping in mind that this is the front, not the other side like I did. Oh my goodness, I really can't believe that I did that. But lesson learned. What are you going to do, right? All right, so now I'm just going to try to hold this in place here. And I'm seeing that when I put this in here, it kind of covers up my mistakes. So maybe I won't have to put a full piece in there after all. Maybe I'll just have to put a smaller piece. I think I, I will. I'll just have to put just a tiny piece on here to cover that up. So that's not too bad. Not too bad. And that's the one that goes in the very, very middle here. So again, I'm going to add some glue to the middle part. And glue to this part. Okay. And this is going to slide in the middle. Okay. We're just going to press this down all along both sides to really make sure that it's adhered nicely. Go all the way down the sides. Oops, my little butterfly is coming off. Okay. Okay. So that is my completed box. What I'm going to do, I'm going to show you the very end of this. I'm going to go cut two more pieces of paper. The reason why I'm going to do two is because... I need to glue one on top of this to cover it up, and I think I want to glue one more so I can just stamp it and put it on there so I don't have to lay the box down and try to stamp. It's going to be harder. So I'm just going to get two new cut pieces of paper and this really pretty pattern here, this stripe pattern, and then we'll come back and I'll show you it all finished. But I do think it's a really beautiful box. I just made a boo-boo, but I'll fix it and I'll show you guys how to fix it. Okay, coming right back. Okay, so here it is all fixed, and I think it looks great. I was able to put uh, another sheet over this piece of cardstock to cover it up, and then add another one over here that has the stamp, and you can't even tell the difference. Like, it looks just perfectly, like you would never know that I made a mistake, and I did put a little liner in here to cover up that piece of cardstock that was showing. So, um, or not cardstock, but anyway, it was the part of the paper that was torn on there. So anyway, I just covered it up so it looks great. I'm so pleased with how this looks. If you want to dress this up a little bit, I mean, you could add like little rhinestones or pearls or anything like that in the center of the uh, flowers here, or you can put tiny little pearls or rhinestones right down the center of these butterflies. But I like it just the way it is, so I'm pleased with it. And um, I hope you guys enjoy this project. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.